A new organization has been assembled to scientifically study UFOs. The U.S. government studied UFOs for decades, and although some of these studies concluded that perhaps a small number of UFOs could be extraterrestrial in origin and merited further scientific study, the official investigations were terminated in 1970. Some involved with these government studies were frustrated by the overt bias and lack of scientific inquiry by some of the members assigned to these projects. Contrary to popular belief, there are many scientists, mainstream scientists, who acknowledge that the UFO phenomenon needs to be studied scientifically. More credible, peer-reviewable data regarding UFOs is needed. So a new group comprised of scientists and engineers is planning to do just that. UFO Detection and Tracking, or UFO Data, is a 501c3 nonprofit organization seeking to create a systematic, rigorous science of UFO phenomena. The group thinks there's a need for this science because of misplaced certainties on both sides of the UFO debate. Believers convinced that UFOs are extraterrestrials, and skeptics equally convinced that UFOs do not even exist. UFO data has worked for more than two years on a plan to build a large network of automated surveillance stations with sophisticated sensors that will monitor the skies 24-7 looking for aerial anomalies. Having tested technology and established its plan of attack, the group is now working on its proof of concept, a working prototype of a surveillance station. The group describes, This station will have a core optical unit with cameras capable of detecting and recording both an image and spectra, a magnetic sensing unit, instrumentation to detect microwave and other radiation, and other sensors to record atmospheric and local environmental data. This sounds fantastic, but also expensive. Each monitoring station is estimated to cost around ten dollars to $20,000. So how does UFO data plan to fund its research? Scientific studies usually rely on grants for funding, but UFO data understands that securing funding for a stigmatized topic like UFOs is pretty unlikely. So the organization is appealing to the public for support. The website describes, Our strategy will be to rely on crowdfunding, small donations from the thousands, even millions of you out there who, like us, think that UFOs deserve serious scientific scrutiny. Leslie Kane, journalist and author of the New York Times bestseller, UFOs, Generals, pilots, and government officials go on the record, is on the organization's board of directors. She explains, UFO data has no interest in alleged government conspiracies or adding more witness reports or FOIA documents to the thousands already on file. She continues, The idea here is that only a complete change of methodology toward a purely scientific approach to the UFO issue will enable us to move forward. A scientific, unbiased approach to UFOs is an issue about which Kane is passionate. This is a unique moment for something radically different, with the potential to unite all of us in a pivotal, larger goal, she says in an October 14th Huffington Post blog post. She continues, We now have the opportunity to elevate UFO investigations so that they become part of the larger scientific search for extraterrestrial life and will eventually be recognized as such by the world community. In addition to funding, UFO data needs volunteers. If you're interested in helping out this ambitious UFO project, either by donating your time or making a tax-deductible contribution, you can find all of the information about this project on the organization's website, ufodata.net.